All right, Porn Nation, I've got another interesting experiment for you guys today. A couple weeks ago, I did a experiment where we used school glue to create the Shelly Art Blooms. And it actually worked really well. I was surprised at how well that worked. Today, we're going to try the same thing, but you guys asked me if I'd try this white glue, which got some interesting lacing results in my glue roundup, which I'll link in the description below. So we're going to do that. I have chosen three colors, uh, ultramarine blue, this metallic purple, and light, a uh, light green. And I have mixed the pouring medium for the paints is, uh, it's about 60, 66. So two thirds glue, one third water. And then I mixed it half and half, say, you know, one to one with the colors and then added a little bit of of uh, water for consistency. So this is what I would consider thick consistency. It makes a mound on a mound, comes off the stick okay. Each one of the colors is slightly different. The purple seems like it's a little thicker, but ultimately when it starts flowing, it gives you the same, same ability. So that's what we're using there. We're gonna use our same color play satin uh, paint. I'm just doing it out of my take out container because it's so much easier as our pillow. And the cell activator is again, titanium white from Amsterdam mixed with the exact same um, glue ratio, the, the two thirds, one third glue ratio. But I had to add a little bit more because we want this to be slightly thinner than the rest of the paints. So this is more like a a medium or in between medium and thin. It makes a teeny tiny mound and then immediately goes away when it drops in. And I mixed really quickly so I got lots of bubbles. We're gonna we're gonna have you disregard those for now so I can get this pour done. We're gonna try two. We're gonna slow pour because we found out last time if I blew too hard it would make divots in the paint and then it dried funny. So we're gonna put everything on and give that a whirl. So first thing is our pillow. And last time I used too much. So I'm gonna try and push this off the edges and not use as much. So we've got a good layer, but not a super thin layer. Now let these sit a few minutes, kind of let them settle, and then come back and take a peek. All right, it's been a few minutes, and I can safely say this worked amazing. Amazing. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, this worked even better than school glue, I think. Some of those. Now the ultimate test is we'll see how it stays when it dries. So we'll come back in probably tomorrow, 24 hours, check how it dries. And we'll see if this is the new winner for the cheapest Shelly Art Acrylic Blooms technique. All right, Pouring Nation, here is the dried results. Now I am really loving how this turned out and I actually think this is better than the school glue, mostly because it kept its form. We didn't get any cracks or crazes like we did with the uh, school glue, and it still has a really vibrant white in the middle, and it just looks amazing. Now, before I go in for a close-up, if this is the type of content that you enjoy and this has been helpful to you, please paint that like button down below. It does help 
this video gets spread out to other acrylic pouring artists that are looking for a cheap way to do the Shelly Art Blooms. So as you can see here, not a lot has changed from wet to dry. Obviously the colors got a little bit more dull because we're using uh, acrylic paint and glue, but my cells kept their form. I didn't get a lot of uh, separation of colors like I did with the others, and the blooms really look great. I think I blew a little bit too hard here in the middle, and uh, there wasn't enough purple to cover, but still, on this one here, same type of thing. That just really looks really vibrant with the green on top. No cracks or crazes like before. And I think varying the thickness of the paint just slightly will give me even better results, which we are definitely going to try. So the winner for the cheapest acrylic pour blooms that I found so far is definitely Craftsmart white glue from Michaels.